Okay, let's review the structures on the dorsal view of the sheep brain. Right down the midline, we've got the longitudinal fissure, which separates the left and right cerebral hemispheres. So all of this is the cerebrum, and then each side is a cerebral hemisphere. The sulcus going across here is the cruciate fissure. Everything anterior to that, all the cortex anterior to that, is the frontal lobe. Making this S shape on either side of the brain, on either hemisphere, is the suprasylvian fissure. Forms kind of an S shape here and here. The cortex lateral to that is the temporal lobe. So all this is the temporal lobe. And then the cortex medial to it is going to be the parietal lobe. If you follow this S shape, this inward bend of the S, the bend that bends toward the midline, if you think of that as a, a bicycle, roughly at the middle of the wheel is the sylvian fissure. So here's the bicycle wheel, and at the hub is the sylvian. Here's the bicycle wheel, and approximately at the hub is the sylvian fissure. And let's see here. Right where the longitudinal fissure ends and the cerebellum begins, draw kind of an imaginary line right about there. All the cortex posterior to that is going to be the occipital lobe. Back here you've got the spinal cord and the medulla right up here. So spinal cord from here back, medulla from here forward. 